Okay, so uh, we're here putting our second fence line up along this ditch line. Uh, we're using high tensile wire because I like that that best. And if anything, the sheep hits it or it, it maintains its uh, tightness. Really hard to anchor it. My favourite way of doing it is with a box strainer. Uh, it stands an impact and doesn't give. You don't need to use two big posts, but I prefer to. On the strength of the of, of, of a, a job, your end post is the most important uh, point of the fence. If this doesn't move, and you've got high tensile wire, nothing moves. So uh, we'll show you how to do a box strainer, or the way that we like to do a box strainer. There's other ways you can put the straining post in the middle and the wire higher. I just prefer it at the at the top of the wire. It just looks better, and I, I like it that way. So. I'm going to start by drilling a hole in the post here where the point of this post is, uh, is going to go into. And what I like to do is do it in steps so that it, uh, it rolls into the... Uh, you don't want a deep wide hole as the pressure of the point will split the post eventually so I try and make a cone shaped kind of post by just trimming down the, each drill bit as we go in to get a nice cone shaped hole or fairly cone shaped hole. Probably a drill that you can get that gives you a, a cone shaped hole. See how this point fits in now. That feels about right. And before before it would split this hole, the point will hit the end of the hole, but that's that's something like right, I think. Yeah, perfect. See the flat end of the post in. Point goes into the into the post there. William gives it a little biffing. And that's about how you want it. Nice tight fit. Right, I want to line up uh, the screws go through the post, I've got to counter sink it because the screws aren't long enough. Now with the extension we just counter sink this straight through into it. And then we've got a staple in here. I've actually cut a line for the wire. It's not necessary, it just makes it neater. My trademark, yeah. And then we do this double of the wire. Just to make sure it makes the twist better. Too. I'm cutting it along because it's better not to not to cut too much off. Cutting some more off at the end doesn't matter too much. Okay, so uh, the tool that we use is homemade. It's a six-inch nail flattened out at one end and a and a hole drilled through it and uh, we 
grip one side with these uh, fencing pliers, the other side goes on. goes on again and if this wasn't high tensile wire you will be able to do this by hand but because it is high tensile you need to make a little tool like this or I think you can even buy them at a of about 14 quid or something silly so just easy to hammer nail out and make one as you see it makes a really nice uh, nice job a strong job and a job that looks nice too and don't get your twist too close together that's when the wire snaps Using as a twist in here, and it won't take too many twists. Is a recycled cheap hurdle. We'll just get it to the height we want it. And that'll do. And that'll do. And then what we do, we line it up with the, with the post on the top. Put the counter sink in it as well again, because the screws aren't quite long enough. You gotta go that way a bit there. Yeah, back up back a bit. Push it down. Come on. That's it there. Go. Gotta go back a bit there. Come on. Yeah. A bit more that way. That way. And again, just drop the extra groove straight in the top and hopefully. And we've got it in the right place, it will drop. Beautifully into that. And that's perfect. And in the future, if anything does clobber the fence or gets a bit slack, you can have that out, put a couple of twists on it, and you know, only a small bit, but you can, if it ever moves, you can get it back to where you want it. So, box strainer. <laughs> 